Shoot him up, John. In the process of making these videos, you think I would have been smart enough to stop the wind chimes from clanging. It's very windy out today. So I apologize in advance that you have to listen to a bunch of wind chimes clanging as I talk in this series of videos. Well, for the lack of a better plan, Trying to jerry rig my scope onto this rifle. I'm down to either a hose clamp or some duct tape. <laughs> you can fix anything with duct tape. Front mounts on that rail pretty good. The rear won't stay. Expect for seven dollars. Well, that's getting it. But in the meantime, I definitely need a bigger hose clamp. A clamping device, I should say. <laughs> I had to laugh. The only a redneck would come up with what I'm fixing to do. I got some scotch tape. And I got my mount secured on there. It keeps coming loose. Oh, I better get the top adjusted before I put the scotch tape on it. This way with it. Secure. Nice little bump knocks it back off the rail. Let me make sure my cross here is in order. Carry it on there with scotch tape until I come up with a better way to mount it. A better scope. Not well enough for railroad work. How did Walter get his scope on his 22? Well, he stuck it on there with Scott's tape. Don't everybody do that? I thought that's the way you're supposed to be done. But duct tape, that would be the way to go.
basically it's just a catch my scope if it falls off safety. I'd well put one on the front too. Oh my god, it's stuck on there now. I bet I got the only gun in the world with the scope of Scott State Tower. <laughs> Get a good laugh out of that anyway. Now let's get back to sighting in the scope. Might as well zoom in and give you a close-up. Yes, sir, Bob stuck it on there with scotch tape. 